In this Excel video, I will show you two of the best methods for inserting images into Excel cells. This is going to be fun. Let's get started. Here I am in a spreadsheet, and I'd really like to add some images to go with these words. And in fact, I've already added an image of an apple because I want you to see first the wrong way to add an image to Excel. If you just insert an image and it's floating on top of your data, the problem with that is, yeah, you could resize the image to put it over the cell that you want it to be with. But then what happens if you increase the width of a column? Maybe you insert another column into your spreadsheet, and the apple is kind of moving around instead of staying in the cell where I want it to be. I'm going to undo that by holding Control and tapping Z a few times. So now that you've seen what you probably do not want to do with your images, let me show you a better way. And this is method number one. Start by clicking on the cell in which you want to insert the image. Then go to the Insert tab and choose Pictures. Select Place in Cell and then search your device if you have the image already on your computer, which I do, or you could search stock images that Excel has or online pictures. I'll choose this device and then I'll just find my image that I have on my computer. In my case, it's in the downloads folder and then I'll just double click on the specific image and that image is now placed inside the cell. What happens if I shrink the cell down? Notice that the image also shrinks with it. If I make the cell much bigger, the image also grows with the cell. Now it's time for method number two. And the second method may be better if you have a little bit older version of Microsoft Excel. In this second method, instead of clicking on the cell in which you want to insert the image, just go directly to the Insert tab and choose Shapes. Select a rectangle shape and then hold the Alt key and then just click and drag in the cell in which you want to put the image. Notice that I did not have to carefully click and drag to select the perfect dimensions for this rectangle. By holding Alt as I clicked and dragged, it automatically snapped to filling the entire cell. Now with that shape drawn, I'm gonna go up to the Shape Format tab that has appeared, and I'll go to Shape Fill and choose Picture. I want the picture to come from a file, and it will be that same folder in my Downloads folder. I have a subfolder called Food, and there's the banana. It's been added perfectly into cell D4. Similar to my apple, as I expand the cell, the image adjusts. Now, it does adjust a little bit differently. It's stretching the banana to make it fit. But that is a second way to add images into a cell in Microsoft Excel. In both cases, as the data in the spreadsheet changes, the images remain in the correct cells. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member, but you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, thank you to my super techie channel supporters. I appreciate what you do for me.